Hey, bro. Hey, what's up? Do you know James Bond? Yeah, I know James Bond. Yeah, I'm his long lost cousin, Tan Bond. What? Tan Bond? No, 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 no. Tan Bond. James Bond is British, isn't he? You look Asian to me. No sweat the small details, man. You need to see the bigger picture. You know his code name is 007, right? Yeah, it is well known. Yeah, my code name is 700. Uh, okay. Let me tell you a story of how it all began. It's a long and sad story. <laughs> On that cold winter night, I was finished watching Bananas in Pajamas with my parents in the theater. As we walked out the theater, they were brutally murdered by a criminal on the street. I was deeply agonized. My childhood was very tough from there on. I was raised in a circus after the incident and learned all the necessary skills to become a crowd pleaser. I thought I would never get out of that abyss of darkness. It's a brutal, never-ending spiral. The only thing keeping me swimming well at night is Freddy Semper. It is a teddy bear with menacing look. It is the only thing that soothed my wounded soul. One day, a man named Barry came to the circus and bring me back to his home. He gave me food and shelter and a place to call my own. He also adopted me as a family member. I owe my life to him. However, my happiness is short-lived. On a rainy day, I didn't stop a theft that walked past me. That theft ended up killing Uncle Barry on the same day. I feel so much regret and grief. If only I had stopped that theft and took away what he's taken from the victim and used it as my own, Uncle Barry wouldn't have to die. So what happens after his death? I'll tell you about it once we get to this place. Oh wow, this place looks familiar. Yeah, it's my secret hideout. But anyways, let's get back to Uncle Barry's story. After his death, I know that I'm destined for greatness. Therefore, I work very hard to become a secret agent. As Uncle Barry always said, great tragedy comes great depression. I swear on that moment on, I will follow the path of evil. <coughs> I mean, good. Justice will be served with a smile. Wow, what a sad and tragic story. But one question remains. How can you be a secret agent when you already told me you're a secret agent? Don't worry, bro. You're my partner now. Every agent needs a partner. Are you sure your story is really true? What do you think? Of course it is true. One look at me and you can tell that I'm 100% British. Appearance can't lie, bro. Don't give me that look, man. If you don't trust me, come with me to this restaurant in Newtown. Okay, cool. I'm kind of hungry too. Let's go eat. Yeah, I'm a man on a mission today to find if Guzman Eagle Mess is worth spending your money on. So first, let's change our clothes. Okay. Back from Guzman White Gomez in Newtown. Oh man, I think I'm breaking a sweat from all that traveling, bro. Can you give me a towel? Yeah, sure. Here you are. Oh man, thanks, bro. Oh, oh my god. Oh man, I think I'm making a bucket load of sweat here. Whoa, how did you produce all that sweat? I don't know bro, it's just come natural to me bro. Were you guys surprised? Okay, let's see what's happened next. Alright guys, uh, now on a serious note, we're going to review the Guzman Y Gomez at Newtown. Now, our first uh, impression of the food when it came out looked like your typical Mexican style food. Uh, but the one uh, drawback or critique is uh, the, the tacos themselves didn't look like uh, pr like proper tacos. Usually, uh, when you see tacos, the meat is actually the most obvious content that you can see. But in this case, it was mostly cheese. Yeah, but cheese what? and tomatoes. Not uh, much for the feelings, to be honest. Yeah, I was a bit uh, uh, shocked, to be honest, because uh, I was expecting more meat content than veggies and cheese. And on, on that note, uh, the tomatoes, oh wow. 
uh, these tomatoes were definitely not fresh. There was yeah. no crunch. The, the, too they much watery. It. Yeah, too watery. Way too it watery. Like it's frozen. Yeah, it was a bit disappointing because the tomatoes themselves kind of like uh, destroyed the balance of the tacos and made it kind of soggy. True, true. Did you feel that? Um, I don't know. The tomato wasn't as uh, juicy as, as I expect. When I, when I get a bite into the tacos and the uh, quesillas, is that the other uh, one we had? Uh, Casadillas. Yeah, yeah, we actually ordered, uh, we'll see later on, uh, the, the tacos and the casadillas. Yeah. Yeah. The casadillas was, uh, I don't know, it's like soft and soggy. Like, it's quickly to get soft and soggy after this came out. Yeah, I mean, uh, you have to eat this on the spot, you can't uh, wait too long. But the thing is, uh, with the casadillas, uh, I don't know, it's just like, it didn't feel the... It didn't feel right. The, the the look of it, it was too sloppy. Yeah. And the cheese was just spilling everywhere. It was just not a great thing to eat, to be honest. Yeah, and it tasted not that great as well. So if I were to go back there, I would definitely not order the casadillas. Just stick with the the tacos. That. But it, but even then, um, the tacos wasn't that great either. Did we we forgot to mention that it's the hard shell that we ordered, not the soft shell. Yeah, yeah. Um, why we ordered the hard shell is we we prefer the the texture. Crunchy against the salt. Yeah, the hot shell for the tacos. Yeah. yeah um, so let's start with the the hot shell tacos. What was wrong with it? Um, I don't know. The crunchiness wasn't as um, I don't know. The texture of the crunchiness wasn't as good as I expected it to be, and the cheese was overfilling, and tomato wasn't fresh, and the, when this entire taco was like the minced beef, right? You yeah. Minced beef and what else? A steak, right? Steak. Yeah. So yeah, we yeah. ordered various types of uh, filling. We had the steak. We had the minced beef, and uh, for the other ones uh, that uh, you ordered, the, just, uh, the chicken, chicken uh, the shred beef, I think. Um, yeah, uh, slow cooked beef. Yeah, yes, which is uh, shred beef. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, the the steak. Yeah. To be honest, the steak was pretty dry. The meat was so dry. The steak was uh, I don't know. It wasn't that juicy or was, uh, or tender at all. It's like you know. It was seriously it was it was, worse than average. It was know. the meat. Oh, I think probably out of all the meats that we had, probably the beef, minced beef, was the most uh, outstanding out of the whole bunch. But then again, not enough, man. There was simply not enough meat. Like, literally not enough to, to satisfy your, your hunger and desire. No, to satisfy my hunger and desire, oh, to overall, I think the tacos, I wouldn't give any of them past a 5.5 out of 10. Okay. And the casillas is even worse. Probably like a five out of ten. Yeah, so uh, so if you want quick snacks and stuff to eat, then just go there uh, for a quick snacks and stuff. But if you want something tasty, it's better off you go eat some other Mexican restaurant. Yeah, tacos. yeah, I agree uh, with my brother. Um, the thing is, um, look, uh, we came looking for a Mexican experience. We walked out disappointed. So, I mean, if you're looking for a quick snack, uh, this place is a place to go. They're pretty quick with uh, getting the food out. I guess it's all rushed because uh, we would have preferred to wait for something decent. But then again, I was look, I was happy overall with the chips. Um, they met my expectations. They weren't uh, overly salted and they were cooked just the way I like it. How about you? Uh, I don't know. The chips uh, to me just taste normal, like average. Just taste like Oporto chips, in my opinion, anyway. Yeah. And the flavor is a bit different. Uh, I see, but like it's nothing special. So I just probably give it like uh, six. Yeah, yeah. Well, well uh, time for my uh, ratings. Uh, chips will get probably an eight out of ten, in my opinion. Um, I'm surprised, well, actually, he give it eight out of ten. Or yeah, I mean, I, I, I really like the, the 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 way they cook the chips. Not too oily, and it was fluffy, and it was this perfect amount of seasoning for my liking. Um, the tacos. Uh, what can I say? Uh, I'll go with six out of ten, to be honest. Um, look, for me, uh, freshness is uh, always important. And it definitely lacked freshness. I couldn't care uh, about the, the quantity or whatever. The freshness is, is key. And the first bite really said it all. And if you look uh, in the video later on, I put a thumbs up. Yeah, I was surprised uh, when like, his face on the show, I really like it. But he put a thumbs up and I was like, what the hell is Yeah, this? that was an indication for my brother to stop filming. Because I was like, uh, I don't want to go any further. Okay? So, uh, yeah, just a uh, point noted, okay? And uh, for the quesadillas, uh, 5 out of 10. Yeah. Uh, Do you agree with those scores? Yeah. Uh, well, my taco, that like I said before in the video, this video, uh, the taco is 5.5 and the quesadillas is like a 5 out of 10. Yeah. 
Can't go any better than that. Yeah, so... So, it's, uh, overall, uh, it's just not worth your time. You're looking for something better to eat. Yeah, so... Look, guys, um, this uh, Guzman White Gomez is a franchise. Uh, there's quite a few in the city. But um, we're just this talking one about, about is the, Newtown. the Newtown one. Yeah. So, so just take notice. Yeah, just take a note of that. And, and also, it's funny because as we were making our way to uh, eat uh, at this place, we stumbled across a few other Mexican shops. So maybe later down the track, we might uh, do another review of tacos. And hopefully it'll be more positive review. True, true. Alright guys, uh, anything else you want to add? Uh, there's nothing else to add. Um, and th this time, uh, we'll be holding out in daytime. Alright, ready? Right, we're holding out. Okay. Oh! Am I in the camera? No, <laughs> Hey! Oh my god! <laughs> Alright, this is good. <laughs> Come closer bro, you're too far. Right. Oh wow, this place looks very familiar. Yeah, it's my secret hideout. Let's get back to Uncle Barry's story anyways. After his death, I know that I'm destined for greatness. Therefore, I work hard to become a secret agent. As Uncle Barry always said, great depressions come great tragedy. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh wow, this place looks very familiar. Yeah, it's my secret hideout. But anyways, let's get back to Uncle Barry's story. After his death, I know that I'm destined for greatness. And I work very hard to become a secret agent. As Uncle Barry always said, great tragedy comes great depression. I swore on that moment on that I will follow the path of evil. <coughs> I mean, good. Justice will be served with a smile. Whoa, wow. But what I wanted to ask you was this is not a sincere way of acting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs>